Welcome back, everyone. We are now going into round two. We have Kid versus Kaido. So let's go right on ahead over to the gameplay. While they are setting up, we have Andrew Torres on Green Kid versus... Multiple YCS champion Andres Torres, <laughs> may, I, may, may I just add? YCS is, of course, from Yu-Gi-Oh! And then Dorian Color on purple kaido so we're seeing kaido going local first legend. so very we, interesting we got it we're already off to the races what a what a quick start to that was so we have the classic purple versus green a matchup yep. that i believe uh is one of the reasons i i thought purple would be such a prevalent deck in these tournaments because mm -hmm. i think purple just has quite the answers for the board that green can put up so let's go ahead and see if we see the classic purple play yeah onigashima on three is what we're looking for here we'll we see a five swing at five. okay you know purple does have the power to be aggressive other decks that don't have the resources to handle the boards that green can put out can't afford to do this mm -hmm. but purple i'm okay with swinging five at life and green obviously will take it we'll see the onigashima go ahead and we got the one three five baby let's go let's yep. go that's the There's classic the onigashima. now so very interesting we saw kaido go first here i don't know if the kid player won the dice roll and made kaido go first but normally kaido likes to go second to yeah, increase the odds of seeing onigashima yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to see that. You know, the, the classic going second Kaido has been mm -hmm. has dubbed recently going Onigashima into Breakio into Tendrop, right? The classic. Um, but definitely we see a good start from both players here. Probably the most optimal start I've seen from both of these decks. Yep. Okay, so we see Bonnie adding an 8-drop kid. Interesting. Okay, we'll be seeing that a little bit later this game. We do have a Beige that can protect this Bonnie from a swing. And then we'll see the five come right back. And then as a Kaido player here, I, I'm okay taking this damage. Yeah. But like the thing is, Green's game plan is to get Kaido down as low as possible early. Mm -hmm. So there is something to be said about defending this possible attack. Now, we do have the player hand cams, but there's just shuffling so quickly that it's, it's, it's not very easy to tell what's going on on that screen. Yeah. I see a Drake. I see a uh, Higurashi. It looks like the one cost 2K Orochi in the Kaido hand. And there's a lot of events. I did see a couple blast breaths in there as mm -hmm. well. And then we're going to go ahead and see an Izo played pass. out. That's So again, understanding what your position in this matchup is, right? Be mm -hmm. Being the aggressor, making sure that you create this board that eventually needs to be outed by the Kaido player, forcing interaction, right? And making sure that they have to have it, right? That's the big term. You must have it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, going yeah. back to Kaido, we're now at what? Six Dawn? Yeah, we're at six Dawn right now. Kaido looking... Maybe we'll see a king come. We're going to go ahead and swing at the Bonnie, try and get the Beige to block. And no, and I completely exactly understand it. We will take the, the, the Beige block. We'll go ahead and tap three, four, five. This is looking like a, a queen, queen to me. Yeah. Yep, uh, sure. the queen. Uh, yep. Bonnie gets to search twice. That is disgusting, huh? That is. It's very powerful. Um, now, will we see the queen discard Onigashima? That's the real question the folks at home are That's how you right know you're now. a real purple player. It you is. know, if, mm -hmm. if, if That's true combo for anyone that doesn't know. If you... Play queen and then discard. The, oh my and there god, it is. that guy is a and professional. Is. I said is. it from the beginning. This mm -hmm. is a matchup of the Giants. Uh, we, we can also keep one up here. There's nothing that we can really do with one Dawn in Kaido. I would assume you're, we're not going to play an we're old not man play here. Orochi. Yeah, we're eh. not going Orochi on this. So one. we'll just have to pass it here. Even though Orochi wouldn't be bad at contesting a Bonnie in this board state, because if he does just start setting up a couple blockers, mm -hmm. it's going get a little wild, right? Uh, yeah. And definitely have the Onigashima to mitigate the queen Dawn minus one effect, which is really, really nice. we got to pay our taxes, right? Yep. So we'll be going to. Uh, eight Dawn next turn? Uh, yes, sir. We'll so be at Eight Dawn. Got, we've got access to all of our boss monsters except Kaido's. The so, true, yeah, the true mm -hmm. boss monsters of the deck, Kaido and Kaido. <laughs> now we're going to see the kid player try to put the Kaido on three or two life so, so that he can punish oh, a man. 10 drop. That we six see attack six. was so weird. Well, no, six is correct there because you have queen. You can't swing well, five. Of course, you so can't you swing, either swing five. six or eight. Because otherwise the queen just gets a lot of value. Completely understood. Yeah. And understood. he wanted to play the law there, so he had the one extra Don. That... We're going to see Bonnie stay up. And uh, we could see Brachiobomb on the law this turn. We could see uh, King come down and snipe the Bonnie out. We could just see Swing 5 try to bait the law. And then put a lot of Don on the queen and go after the law. There, there's a lot of options that Kaido has right now. And it all really depends on... The Kaido player's hand, which it really does. Like it, it's 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 tough to say. Like like you mentioned, there are there quite a, a bunch of plays that can be made. I I don't think King is a bad we play by any means, and we do start seeing the yeah. six dawn taps. So we see started that King here come down, mm -hmm. a pretty good card. Something that uh, I've noticed that I've I've personally stepped away from, mm -hmm. but it's certainly very very strong. Six K uh, six drop for seven K and on play delete something is very very powerful i i think that the six drop is extremely powerful because if your game plan is going second 
I like the six drop better than Brachiobomb most of the time. Completely understandable. I think yeah. people have just become, uh, started to understand how absolutely powerful the uh, seven drop king is, you know? He is powerful, but he's costly. He is very expensive. Very expensive. But in the matchups where he comes in clean, he's almost a necessity versus aggressive decks versus law these very heavy board state uh centered decks he does a great job at oh, handling wow we've got two more law in the kid player's hand that that's, is that is literally either all law. the laws or almost all the laws and we're going to use the queen offensively and then we're going to pitch a card yep. from his hand which this is pretty solid we still keep one up you know we have the blast mm -hmm. breath we don't need the bonus done this turn because no matter what we're going to 10 yep. right uh, we were 8 this turn, we lost 1, so we're at 7, we got it back, and then we'll go to 10 on the next turn. Yep, absolutely. So it's perfectly fine. If we do have the 9 drop here, it's also even more fine, because we probably want a 9 drop instead of go for the 10 drop at this mm -hmm. point in time. But I'm looking at the purple player's hand, I'm very intensively staring at the purple it's player's queen, hand. Uh, it's queen, blast There is no breath. bomb in There's that no hand. None. There's no bomb no. in that hand. Not no that 9, no 10, no 7. Okay, so, we see Higurashi go out. Now you see the swinging with the queen does incentivize a law to attack it, which if you do have a 9 drop is great, because you could clear a law, swing on a law, but then... Most certainly, but yeah. I don't. I'm not convinced that this six on six is the way to go. Uh, but no, I, no, I have but... to look at the green player's hand before I go ahead and assess that any mm -hmm. further. So we, uh, we do see a, a five swing, and now we might see the eight drop come down this turn. Yeah, and this is the this is the um, kind of the, the funny part where like by keeping that one dawn up, maybe it was correct to go low to the table, go mm -hmm. six, go five, right? Because yeah. at this point in time, um, you don't want to bait pass. that blast breath, and for certainly this is pass. Yeah, there, th this will not, not turn using sideways. This effect. Yeah. Correct. We just pass, yep. You know, they're both great players. Mm -hmm. This so, is here for next turn. You know, it's funny enough that this is round two and we got these titans of the game being playing against each other because, honestly, this could be like... I, you could tell me these two players are playing and I'd be like, yeah, this could be round seven, round eight. Mm. Um, So, definitely, the pairings are doing a lot of spice right now. So, we're going to 10 Dawn here and, you know, that board, although it's not very formidable, it is an A-drop and a sideways law. And we can yeah. probably take down this law no problem without oh, com easily. committing too pretty much easily. into the board. But if we don't commit into the board, then we're really not developing. Well, That's but you don't necessarily have want to, to develop exactly because of the 10 drop. Correct. The thing is, he doesn't have it. Well, yeah, you, the <laughs> opponent doesn't know that. True. So if I just put three Don on this king. Yeah, 10, like, on, 10 on 6 is very a, good, right? It's probably down. That like, is, the, the law there is, is probably no, down. There's no Don active for the green player, and yeah. 10 would force uh, two 2Ks plus a 1K yep. or some combination of 1Ks. At and least that, three it's, cards. It's too many cards yeah. to really commit to protecting this card while still having 7 Don up. Like, yeah, you just can't absolutely. feasibly do that. Yep. It just, you, you're still threatening a Brachio Bomb if you need. No, like, you can't. There's you no can. way you invest that. You so can, for, you can. For 3 less Don on a Brachio Bomb, you take out the, yeah, of course. Take out the ball right here. So and, and we I might think see we might that. see an eight. Now so an eight, eight is on a six, little light. Eight, it's not bad though. It's just it's not. This, it's it's two a, cards. If he has the break your bomber, this is probably even better because if he does want to defend this, which I again do not think he, no, he yeah, should. It's down. Uh okay. yeah. Then then he could just get three cards yeah. and then break you on top of it and just in a really nice spot. Yeah. Now that is also a good way to bluff a nine drop. This is a very if I nice swing way. Eight on it right there, and you end it, nine drop full punish. And the nine drop could just not even turn side. No, I wouldn't turn, turn the nine. One. I, wouldn't I wouldn't even don yeah. minus on the nine drop. I would just, I would just play the nine drop to say wow. I have a ten k body now. Good luck. Uh, seven on five. Eight. I do like the seven on five. The problem is once you see the eight drop on board, right, and you don't have the ten drop, you don't have the nine drop. Yeah. You can't give them cards in hand because yeah. the cards in hand is protection for the eight drop. And I'm, I'm kind of scared to turn that queen sideways here because it could definitely go down on the crackback. And now it, how it am I handling go down. that? How am I taking that eight drop? Out, Shall go know? down. So he he will defend this. We're gonna get a Nekomamushi as well as yeah. as a scratchman for another queen. And yeah, I guess then if we have yeah. two queens, we're not too sad. He does yeah. have another Onigashima, so we will yeah. see the true combo one Absolutely. more time. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. You Let's love to it. see it. You love this to see it. This is how you know uh, the the Kaido player is well versed. He knows to draw and discard Onigashima. This man do be drawing mm -hmm. Onigashima, Absolutely. huh? Now Kid is at two life, so Kaido is threatening lethal. Yeah. Kaido could put seven Don on his leader, swing, drop the opponent to one, then Don minus seven with the leader ability and put the other three on a king. No, this Technically was a lethal very beautiful threat, turn. This but... was a beautiful turn. We still have one Don up. The Don was used absolutely oh, yeah. perfectly. I like it. But you're absolutely you're right. D Kaido does threaten weird lethals with one character on the board. That is a lethal at two life, threat. right? For every other character, you can increase that lethal uh, by one, right? Yep. The thing is, there's an eight drop on the board, there right? Is an which which is mitigates that whole interaction true now the blast breath in hand is going to be very important here because very that drop, important is drop a 9k is incentivized to swing for nine. Oh, he definitely does swing yeah. a nine the thing is but he, the queen there are cards on the board so 
that you want to interact with. So maybe he goes in at different numbers. And here's where things are getting a little little fishy, right? Because the when I'm looking at Andres Torres' hand, it looks like there's about six cards in his hand. Okay, now this is interesting. We see an eight on a seven, no Don attached first. That is bizarre. Um, I don't agree with don't this agree because with this. an eight on seven is very much not a real number, no, right? Not, not at all. And that is just we, a two K just... specifically versus purple out of all decks who plays uh, mm -hmm. 15, 16 that we know of two K counters in the deck. That just didn't seem eh, closer to 12 these days with builds. Uh, ulti is not exactly. The, the reason I say that is because I know that he was telling me before the tournament that that guy's playing 15 two K counters. Okay. Well, so. I mean, if you, if you want to ulti, you ulti. Now I'm going to be very, how he's going to use his Don this turn? Because not to put one on that kid, what is worth more? I, I want to know what is worth that Don that's not going to go kid? on that kid. <laughs> and then we put the Don on that one? I mean... I, I, I can't think of it either. I'm trying to... It, yeah. Because we're about so to put Don onto our on leader. Queen. Those numbers six, aren't real, not, man. Not very... Those numbers aren't real. We'll, wanna... we'll fetch an X Drake there. Yeah. So we, we fetch two 2Ks out of the purple player's hand. There it is. Uh, which so... are, you know... <laughs> Those are good two Ks. To Those be are fair, fun. And he still can go. He can still hold the breath. I mean, yeah, Extra is an awesome card, but I'd I'm okay with protecting my board state. What is Ooh. hello? Oh, oh. that is um, bizarre. Interesting. I, I believe there might he might might not. Uh... He's trying to. Uh, yeah, he's activating law to re-add the A drop. That is a that is minus eight done. What to the play the heck Bonnie. just happened? I, I'm not sure. I had to take off. You guys can't see. We don't have the commentator can, but I almost took off my hat. That was just, yeah. what am I? We, we, what the? I'm very interested to see where this is going to go. Now. Maybe he couldn't defend the 8-drop. I mean, and so sure. he's protecting it, but. It, but that 8-drop is no combo in hand. How much time do we have that we think that we're going to be able to reestablish it? You know what I mean? I really, I don't know. We're at two life into a that Kaido board. That and is. We're, and we're, we are, we are completely all Dawn rested. We are, and as they say, tapped out. We are, yeah, we have no active Dawn at this moment in time. Kaido gets, a, gets to unsuspend with three characters on the board to two life and ten Dawn. Mm -hmm. That's there is no shot. If I was a Kaido player, I'm going lethal, right? And I feel like oh, I can yeah. do it and keep up a Dawn for the Blast Breath and still feel absolutely fine. Wait, Kaido's also at three life. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he's as they say, like, big chilling. Yeah. And, and back to what we were talking about a second ago with these uh, attacks that we're not agreeing with. You go even on even and odd on odd. Correct. Yes, Correct. because you don't want to give value to those 2K counters. So what... I, I want to make them use the 2K counter plus a card. So yeah. I, the, the very simple math is that I've, that I've tried to explain to people. I haven't really gone in depth in like a video or anything like that, but 2K above the highest blocker is a very nice threshold, it right? Is. Absolutely. It's if a it's very a five, simple math. On? If it's a five, you seven. go seven. Mm -hmm. If it's a six, like queen is on the board, you're going uh, eight, right? Yeah. And then that's going to trigger interaction. Things you never want to do, you never want to swing six on a five or eight on a five. Because There's just too just, many 2Ks. Many, two, and fours. Right. It's Last just, breath, love, love, beam. Punk Gibson, there's so many ways that you can get out of that. Yeah, it just it just doesn't go the distance, right? And you mm -hmm. saw it there. We, he was going just one above, and one above is it's just not a real number. No. And then the thing is, this it's also deck dependent, right? Red and purple, I would say, are the heavier 2K decks. So obviously, you might be able to squeeze that into mm -hmm. green or into blue, but definitely not in this matchup. Yep. Now, very interestingly, we do see that uh, we're swinging seven with the king. Now, I think you might have wanted to put but a dawn, dawn there because th of the block again. The same principle that I was just suggesting mm -hmm. is the same idea, right? Two over so, the highest blocker. Two over the highest blocker. Since uh, we have Law as the highest blocker, 6K, we're going to want to swing at for, for eights, right? So yep. with one Dawn investment, we get there nice and cleanly off of the off of the king. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Two Dawn on each queen, that just is what it is. And then we can still burn. We, we might not even have to burn this turn, which is yep. the craziest part to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so he decided to then attach two to Kaido and then go seven with the Kaido. Well, so the Kaido already swung. Um... Sorry. One of them already swung. The killer blocked it. The other the, one is the king. Now, the, right? now it's leader. That's what yeah. I meant. Kaido leader is going to go ahead and attack for seven, right. which again, you which know, maybe we saying, I can yeah. go ahead and invest one more Dawn here. That's four Dawn investment. Four Dawn is perfectly fine because we're going to burn anyways. We want to use our Dawn aggressively. Okay. Um, so now he goes and, and that's why we see the two. Now, what we just saw, not only did the law block, but the 2K was countered out of the hand. Now, Kaido's thinking, how do I end this game? Well, Can the I Kaido, game the Kaido doesn't even have to end this game. That's he the doesn't. crazy part. No. He literally wins over the course of two turns. He just gave him the game. Potentially. Eh, Potentially. There's, there's no, I don't want to give any potential. Kid can very easily stabilize on the back of an 8-drop. We did just see an 8-drop get put back in his hand, but That's it doesn't That's a whole mean turn investment. You know what I mean? Like, let's say he drops the 8-drop next turn. He suspends it. He plays, sure. let's say, a Beggie, right? Uh, yeah. He puts one in there. He plays another two Beggies and an 8-drop. I don't think that's going to cut it. I'll, 
I'm just saying I'm not counting anybody out yet. Oh, okay, kid, that's fair. That's never fair. count kid out. Never count kid True. out. Kid, kid is a very strong deck. I'm not trying to count him out by any means. It just feels like the these three turns back to back have been so bizarre oh, yeah. that I have I have. Now we see a full board clear here is is so devastating. For I just the kid I just feel player. like one piece is such a punishing game it that can like be. It when you can when be. you miss interact okay. a card Do you lose a two K things queen? like that. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh no! There's the third queen. Yeah, no, this is the queen. It's so much. We got the whole court here. The whole we court's do. here. We got the king, I the queen. It. We got a seven drop king in hand, a Bagua. No, it's like I think you, you literally breaths. don't need that my seven goodness. drop. You literally pitch the seven drop here. and uh, You pitch the Bagua. You have blast breaths for days. Like, I would, I would uh, just the hold Bagua. up. No, really? The Bagua, I completely agree I'm with that. such a greedy, greedy yeah. event holder. Now, that I don't agree with. Using Onigashima there for your last on. Instead, you leave it because if your life trigger is a Bagua, it comes back rest, unrested. So you get an extra Dawn that you can so use you can, on another But then you already right? gave the... Like, that would make... Oh, so if you're saying double breath as opposed to... Correct, I mean, I understood. Correct, yeah. Understood. That's you very... Wanna, if you're at 9 Dawn, you don't Oni for the 10th one. Because uh, a shield trigger or a, uh, a life trigger here could give you that Dawn, but in active mode instead of rest mode. Which means that you could use an additional blast breath that turn. Which is very important. Very, very important. Understood. But, I mean, you you are so far ahead of Kid right now that you're probably not thinking about But, but about once again, we go, we go back to the concept of what is Kaido's lethal turn? Kaido's lethal turn is whenever one character. Wants. At two life, it is one character and Kaido. Yep. Right? And whenever he wants. And obviously, he can, go, he can go for that whenever he wants. As soon as we saw that block from Law, I agreed with Dorian's mm. play of take care of the board, and we can, we can extend this game just a little further, and I'm going to win. It looks like Punk Gibson, Double Law, Killer... Uh, Basil and I don't know We're... what that other one is. I guess an eight drop kid. Uh, oh boy, that is not a great hand to be staring this board down. It might be time to attach a lot of down on the leader and try your best to take two out. This might be a 10 10 swing turn and then leave uh, two up for a punk Gibson. You're just you're not in a good position no matter what you do this turn. It's just tough. That, it is. That, that's what I said when when he went ahead and he bounced the a drop. Yeah. It I was think... a little scary. You it, know what I mean? You it you feels what, like it cost a game. It, it not that it cost the game, but I, I see where he was coming from. He couldn't defend it. Couldn't so defend it. what do you do, right? But it still attracts a, attacks. It still attracts attacks. Uh, it baits another turn. You could have then gone aggressive on that turn. I mean, you use that turn to put one done on that guy and go leader face, right? You forfeit the board, and you say, my leader is going to win me the game. And that was what he should have done. But unfortunately, even had he gone through that play, there are three queens on the board. There are still three queens There are the just board. three queens on the and board. And a king. <laughs> I mean, the, the king is negligible, and but I mean, the, the blocker effect is what really is very, very uh, scary. You know what I'm saying? Because so, we wouldn't have been able to cheese him through the yeah. leader effect is what I'm getting at. So we've seen, the, the thing here, though, is we've seen these queens are attacking. And that's the big thing about queen. It attacks. It attacks very well. 6K is a is an one aggressive number. Seven. It is an aggressive number. For one, we have a 7, and we as we've been talking, 7 is Once 2 again, cards in hand. Yep. Or a spell. Absolutely. Please wait outside the hall. Okay, we're seeing you a pass back to Kaido with a 7 the drop. Or the I don't know that that's enough. Need to get to their calls. Once again, if you finish your match, please go outside the hall. Please go outside could, the hall. This could just be a turn where you just swing 7 with everything. Oh, no, I seven, think... 7, 7, 7. I agree. I yeah. just... Because, again, you don't have to now. Like, again, you, if you want to go ahead and deal the damage, you do two above the lowest blocker. Now, the lowest yeah. blocker is a seven. I am not investing 3k per, I mean, three dawn per swing. I'm just going to go ahead and match it. Something else we noticed. He put seven on the leader, swung on a queen. Again, seven on a six. And now, because he did that, he has one less dawn active. That means he can't use his punk Gibson. Absolutely right. And that is... Yeah. Now, I'm Kaido. I know my opponent cannot counter four for two Don. No, he cannot. He cannot. So now I just count the cards in his hand. Correct, because each so... card is exactly... If, even if he wanted to take the life, we're swinging sevens at a seven blocker, right? So therefore, that is interaction. That's a one card in hand, a 1K. Yep. So you're absolutely right. One card per card. Now, Kaido here doesn't even need to use the leader effect to burn a life. Uh... I think you can very easily just keep attacking. I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I, I think Dawn is power. You know, you're, is you, you're playing Kaido and you want to use your leader effect. That's understandable, right? You it don't is. really get, you don't want to play a leader that's of vanilla. But you see players get trapped into that leader effect Absolutely. on both sides of the board. Mm -hmm. The opponent, like you could swing five here, and if the opponent's afraid of your attack, they'll just take it. 
And then because you don't have to burn anymore, you have 10 Dawn. No, I just do what I just, want. You just, <laughs> no, I just start. I just start yeah. activating my Dawn or, or placing it, attaching it. You know what I mean? Or you'll see a Kaido player just waste 5 Dawn to get rid of that one life without needing to. And that's what we're going to see. So here. he's going to minus it anyways. Honestly, I don't think it matters, uh, if I'm being he honest. He needs to minus one more Dawn. Yeah, I think they're, he's counting more, it. One more Dawn. Um... Oh, there it there goes. We go. See, right, I'll right, tell you, yeah. it's a pretty, it. it's a pretty easy count. There's only it ten is, active dawn. Yeah. You know, if you got four Can't up, be more. You can uh, really, <laughs> really, is not. it's okay. So we still have four potential attackers, no life, and it looks like Andres has all four at seven, as five well. cards. Okay, one, two, three, six cards six in hand, cards. right? With four attackers, it's gonna be a tough one. Yep. I don't even think you. I think it, you just open king, just swing seven, see what happens. I would swing with sixes. I don't. Even, I wouldn't even invest any dawn. It depends on his hand. Um, okay, so we, this I agree with. I think you just open this. This is two cards out of your opponent's hand, or uh, the kid goes down, which you're happy with either one. Uh, this is tough. Like, right now, the kid player is not even threatening lethal. Nope. Even if nothing else were to happen this nope. turn, that lethal is not threatened. You know there's an 8-drop in hand. You know one card can't be countered. As Kaido, I also feel confident this turn because of the, what you were just saying. Since he's not threatening lethal, I feel very confident just leaving no Dawn up. Yep. Uh, you know, incorporating and, all my Dawn into mm, the play. So he, there he goes blocks the seven that. Drop. So now certainly I am investing everything. I'm going 7-7-7. Yeah, seven, 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 seven. Seven. And mm -hmm. that is, With there is no way. Because yeah. there's 6 cards left in hand. And, and you know one of them is an 8-drop. Correct. You know one so of them is an 8-drop. That's so just math, baby. Yep. Nothing, uh, nothing doing here. This is going to be the game. And there it is. All right, so Dorian uh, Keller winning with Kaido. Hey, congratulations. Uh, pretty commanding victory, honestly. Yeah. I think that was, uh, that was an excellent showing of how Kaido can really handle a kid matchup. Now, we saw no boss monsters on Kaido's side with the exception of that king. It, it depends so, what you determine as like a boss monster, right? Because, Queen is not a boss monster. Queen no, is, I wouldn't say Queen's a boss monster, boss monster, but King. Would you say that six drop so, King is a well, boss? That's what I said. I said Kaido saw no boss monsters with the exception of. Oh, the okay, king. okay, definitely. And so we didn't see any nine drops. We didn't see any ten drops. We didn't need to. At the same time, the kid player was behind pretty far. The kid player opened very strong, going second, Most opening certainly. Beige, opening Bonnie. Mm -hmm. That seemed really good. I, I but... cannot fathom what is a better opener for a green. But again, we had the classic Kaido, the true combo for Kaido. Pass, Onigashima. Yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> Pass, that's how Onigashima we go. Queen. Going first, too. Going first, opening the Oni. <laughs> there it is. That's how you Kaido does. You love to see it. You love to see and it. And then we saw the kid player just get flooded. The kid player got flooded with cards you can't counter with. Absolutely. So this 8 drop is just an 8k. And my opponent's board already has a king. It already has a queen. There's so much on it. Now there's a third queen by the time this kid can turn sideways and actually have its dominant. No, effect. it's like, too much. It, he started to steamroll. The thing is, he had a couple t couple really solid turns, yeah. and that's all you need as Kaido, right? A couple really solid turns. So fortunately, uh, we did see what, what I had prophesied, right? Purple into the green matchup. Purple does make sure it to does. house green. It, it, does it does a good time. You have the 10 drop, the 7 drop, the 6 drop. And your cards are just well statted into the green card, uh, into the green deck. Yep. The green deck in general just doesn't have a lot of combo power because you play cards like uh, Okiku. Counter. Power. She's too. She's too power. So I, I might, yeah. She, there's no counter because you're playing Okiku. You're playing seven drop. You're playing eight drop. You're playing all these cards. And if you're not keeping Dawn up for Punk Gibson or Paradise Waterfall, yep. You're kind of stuck. We, 